And tonight, an announcement from Sunnyvale Police has some members of the local Muslim community questioning their safety. Officers believe the driver who intentionally hit that group of eight pedestrians with his car was motivated by race and religion. KPIX 5's Katie Nielsen is at the crash scene tonight. Katie. Again, community members have been leaving candles, flowers, and signs. Now, investigators say the suspect, an Iraq War veteran, specifically targeted people he thought were Muslim. And it's held on a very large scale. And it's a Tonight's meeting at the Muslim Community Association, and, uh, one of the biggest mosques in the Bay Area, was supposed to be about finalizing plans to celebrate the holy month of Ramadan, which starts next weekend. Instead, much of tonight's conversation was about safety. The most frightening thing about it, though, is that people are thinking twice about coming to their places of worship because they don't know if they're safe here. The meeting comes only hours after this afternoon's disturbing announcement from Sunnyvale's police chief. Based on our investigation, new evidence shows that the defendant intentionally targeted the victims based on their race and his belief that they were of the Muslim faith. While the police chief would not reveal the specific evidence that led investigators to believe the suspect, 34-year-old Isaiah Peoples, targeted Muslims specifically, the district attorney's office says it is investigating this as a possible hate crime. We have zero tolerance for any sort of hate crime. And they, we are standing with the victims together that were on that street corner on El Camino Real. As the sun set on the minaret of the Muslim Community Association tonight, members say they're relying on faith to get them through this unnerving time. There's a lot of people out there who have very negative feelings towards Muslims. It's just become a part of life, actually. There's nothing really much that you can do. It is very disturbing. It doesn't matter whether it was a Muslim family or non-Muslim family. The innocent people being hurt. Pray for peace. In light of today's developments, developments, mosque leaders say they are going to be increasing security immediately. They also have an active shooter drill planned for next month, an unsettling reality for a place of worship. Live in Sunnyvale, Katie Nielsen, KPIX 5.